All right, guys. Well, welcome back. Um, I was fortunate to actually get this Transcend um, external hard drive. Apparently, it's not working. So what we're going to try and do now is actually just take out the, the hard drive within to see if it's not just the casing that's an issue or it's actually the hard drive as well or the entire device. <clears throat> okay, so this is more of a step-by-step. -step. Uh, what you would need to do is you need to first remove the little sticker. Okay, if this is, this will void it, so you must just be careful. Um, if you still have warranty on it, make sure that you just take it to the right people instead. Okay, as you can see, there's one little screw. Take this little screw out. Okay, and then basically it's a clip clip. So you need to get your fingers in or you get an old card of some sort. You can actually manage to get it in. There we go. And just run it to see if you can actually open it. It's proven to be quite difficult with the card. Just didn't want to use a screwdriver, but let's go ahead. I have to be even more careful so I don't scrap the casing. Try to do it nice and slow, to be honest. Just wants to be complicated. Very complicated. <laughs> Just check. Oh, there's nothing underneath there. So it is definitely a, a clip. Just making sure to take it out properly. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it until I can actually get it clipped open and I'll show you once I've managed to do that. Okay, as you can see, I finally managed to get it open. Okay, all I had to do necessarily was find a weak point in the casing, and I found it here in the front. I put my screwdriver in, and I slowly jimmed it down until it made through, and then I pushed it up. I put a, a card in, a plastic one, just to hold it open, and then I removed my screwdriver and pushed it this side as well and clipped open. Then this little sp space opened up, more like what you'll see over here. And then I just use my hands to pull it open. And now safely moving it. All right. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like on the inside. And you just replace and remove the entire thing. Okay, simple, quite a nice little device. Quite compact. Love the rubber idea. Because then static electricity can't cause any issues. And then you just pull it and move it out the way. Don't damage that covering because you need to use it again. The case works, of course. <clears throat> then all you do is you've got this connector here, which is your power connection and uh, transferring data. And you just gently remove it. Yeah, you don't want to damage that. There we go. So that's how you take it apart, actually. It's quite easy. Well, <laughs> Opening the case was a bit difficult, but the rest was very straightforward. And I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Then it's the same principle of putting it back together again, placing this device inside, making sure the two line up, putting the right casing over it. And then obviously putting it back in the case in the right way. Just remember, this is the screwdriver section where the screw goes in. All right. Don't put it the other way around because then you'll screw into your board and then that's basically buggered. Okay. Well, I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it.